Hello everyone. This video provides a quick review of derivative rules. Finding derivative of a function at a certain point is to find the slope of the line tangent to the function at that given point. The process of finding a derivative is called differentiation. There are quite a few notations for derivatives. You can denote it as f prime of x or dy over d dx or y prime or derivative of y as a function of x. The basic rule for derivatives is represented by this formula right here. This formula is saying that finding derivative of a constant dc multiplied by x raised to the exponent n as a function of x. To find derivative of this, what you need to do, you take the exponent, you multiply by the coefficient in front of x. At the same time, you will take 1 away from the exponent. Derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. Derivative of a function raised to a power, this is involved a change rule. Because you have a function raised to a power, we, this formula denotes as u to the exponent n. So the basic rule for derivatives still apply to this. However, you have to also apply the chain rule. So what you need to do in this case is you will take the exponent n, you multiply the coefficient in front of this uh, function. At the same time, you take 1 away from the exponent. Then you have to apply the chain rule. That means you have to multiply by derivative of u as a function of x. Derivative of a sum or difference of uh, a function of x is denoted as derivative of function u plus or minus function v plus or minus function z, all of this as a function of in term of x. So what you need to do is you can break this into a little part. So you can take derivative of the function u as a function of x, then you can add or subtract derivative of function v in term of x, you're going to add or subtract derivative of function z in term of x. Then there's a product rule as well. And then there's a quotient rule. So what I will do is I will go over a few examples. And from this example, I will clarify to everyone what rules you need to apply for certain functions. All right, so let's start with question number one. So this question asks us to differentiate the following functions. So when they ask us to differentiate a function, what we need to understand is we have to find the derivative of that function. So the question also requires us to uh, express our final answer fully simplified and express as positive exponent only. So a bit of algebra that we need to review here. All right, all right, OK. So for question number one, given y as a function, equal to 5 times x to the exponent 3 minus 1, all of it in the bracket square. So now you see that you have a function raised to an exponent. So what you need to do is you need to apply this rule over here. So I'm going to quickly show everyone. Uh, I will apply this uh, chain rule. Okay, so this is the rule that I'm going to apply. I raise a function to an exponent. So that, therefore, I have to apply the chain rule. So what I have to do is, first of all, we are going to write uh, dy over dx. OK, so I will take 2. I multiply 1. OK, so in front of this uh, bracket, there must be an invisible number 1. So then 2 times 1 is 2. So. You rewrite the exact function inside the bracket again. And then you take 1 away from the exponent. So you take 2 minus the 1. And what you need to do next is apply the chain rule, which is du over dx. That means you take derivative of the function inside the bracket. So derivative of a function inside the bracket is 5 times uh, x to the exponent 3. So you take 3 times 5, which is 15. At the same time, you take 1 away from the exponent. So that will become 3 minus 1 here. So that just write every single step down. And the next step is to take derivative of minus 1. So derivative of minus 1, which is derivative of a constant, so it's equal to 0. Okay. 
So let's simplify this to see what we get. Okay, so I got 2, 5, x to the exponent 3, minus 1, all of it's raised to the exponent 1. Then I multiply this with 15x squared. Okay, so we don't have to write the exponent 1 in this case. To simplify this, all you have to do is just take 15, multiply 2, and uh, we can have 30x squared multiply by 5x to the exponent 3 minus 1, close the bracket. All right, so to differentiate this function raised to the power of the exponent 2, we have to apply the chain rule. We apply the basic rule for derivative, and also we apply the chain rule. All right, so let's move on to question number two. Question number two, asking us to differentiate this entire uh, radical under this uh, Q root. So the first thing you want to do is you need to apply the basic rule for derivative also, you also have to apply the chain rule, right? So in order for us to have the exponent to multiply, we need to convert this radical into an exponent. So when I convert this, I should have uh, 5x squared minus 6x plus 1, all of it to the exponent 1 third. Okay, so Q root is 1 third. So now the next line, we are going to differentiate, so we write dy over dx. So I will take one third, multiply to the one in front of this bracket. I rewrite the exact function inside the bracket again. And then I will take one away from the exponent. And I have to apply the chain rule. So I need to multiply by derivative of the function inside this bracket. So the derivative of the function inside the bracket, what you need to do is you take 2 times 5, which is 10. At the same time, take 1 away from the exponent. So 2 minus 1 is just 1. Okay, so let me write that. 2 minus 1 minus, all right, so 6x. This is the exponent 1 for x here. So 1 times 6, which is just 6. And x is 1 minus 1 and plus 0 in this case. So this is the chain rule that you have to apply, all right? Okay, so now let's simplify our statement. One third minus one will be minus two third. Okay, in here I should have uh, 10x and then I just minus six. Okay, so one minus one is equal to zero, and anything to the exponent zero is equal to one. So therefore, you just have uh, x to the exponent zero, which is one. One times six is just six. All right. Okay. So just this is really makes sense in this case, right? Because you have six x, which is a straight line. Okay, so finding the derivative of the straight line is to find the slope of that line. So the slope of the line 6x is equal to 6 in this case. Okay, so the question asks us to uh, simplify our uh, statement and also express its positive exponent. So what I need to do is I will factor the uh, 2 out from this bracket. Okay, so here I should have. Okay, so I take out the 5, factor out the 5. In here, I mean, um, I'm sorry, I think I should say factor out the 2. I'm ahead of myself in one step here. So here, I should have factor out the 2. Here, I should have 5x left. Okay, and in here, I should have negative 3. So let's try this in terms of simplify and also as positive exponent. So I should have 2 times 5x minus 3. Everything divided by 3. Uh, 5x squared minus 6x minus 1. All of this raised the exponent positive 2 thirds. Okay. So a little bit of algebra here for everyone to review. All right. I could only have uh, 30 minutes for, for each of this video, 
So I hope I be able to go over the rest of the exercise. Okay, I have six questions all together, I think. Then my next step, what I will do is I will probably skip a few steps. All right, so for question number three, okay. So this question is actually um, quite um, tricky because you see that this is minus 5 divided by this function raised to this power. Most of us think that because it is a fraction, then we should use the quotient rule. However, let me show you how the quotient rule works. All right. Okay. So in this case, you see in this quotient rule. Okay. So let's uh, circle this. In this quotient rule, what you see here is that you take derivative of u over v. So that means derivative of a function divided by a function. Then you apply the quotient rule. So in our question right here, do we need to apply the quotient rule? No, we don't. The reason for that is you only have minus 5. Okay? So minus 5 times x to the 0 in this case. But you can simplify this function and raise that power here raise the entire function as a denominator to certain power and then you don't have to apply the quotient rule. So I will have negative 5, okay, I time this by 3x squared minus 1, all of it raised to exponent negative 4. Okay, so don't forget that we need to remember uh, a 1 over a is equivalent to a to the exponent minus 1. All right, okay. So keep that in mind. Or we have, if 1 over a to the exponent n, we will have um, a to the exponent negative n. All right. OK, so just remind everyone of that. So now I can differentiate. So dy over dx is equal to, you take negative 4 times negative 5, you should have, um, so let me write step by step, negative 4 times negative uh, 4 times negative 5, and 3x squared minus 1, here's minus 4 minus 1, okay? And what do what are we missing here? We still have to apply the chain rule, which is take 3x squared minus 1, and we have to take derivative of the function inside the bracket. So in this case, I should have 6x, all right? So let's simplify our answer, okay? So what you have here is you have negative 5, times negative 4, which is um, uh, 20. And you multiply by 6x, you should have 120x. At the same time, I will bring this expression down to the denominator so, you, so I can express the answer as positive exponent of 5. All right? OK. Very good. So let's move on to question number 4. Again, the same thing here. You only have a uh, coefficient as a numerator. So what you can do is you can rewrite this as negative 5 multiplied by 7x minus 3. All of it read the exponent negative 1 over 5. OK. So now what we are going to do is we are going to differentiate next. OK. So let me remind everyone a formula for this. So if you have a, a radical, right? So a to the exponent m, and you have the index as n. So what you need to do is you will have the exponent as a numerator and the index as the denominator. OK. So then if you have 1 over a raised to the exponent m and the n root, then you should have a negative m over n. All right. OK. So that's a quick uh, reminder for everyone regarding the conversion between the radical to the exponent and from positive exponent to negative exponents and vice versa. All right. OK. So again, what I have to do is I will take negative 5 here. <coughs> And I multiply by the exponent, which is negative 1 over 5. 
and 7x minus 3, take 1 away from the exponent. Okay, and I still have to multiply by 7, which is the uh, chain rule, derivative of the function inside the bracket. So let's see what I have. I should have um, this, I cancel with that, negative, negative is a positive, so I should have 7 left, and then 7x minus 3, minus 1 fifth minus 1 should give me negative 6 over 5, so to simplify this, I should write 7 over uh, 7x minus 3, all of it to the exponent 6 over 5. Okay. Very nice. All right. Okay, so we can move on to the next uh, question. So what I'm going to ask you everyone is to take a look at this uh, function right here, okay? So y equal to 3x squared minus 1, all of it to exponent 4 minus 5x. So you have a difference of two functions here. So what you can do in this case, you differentiate this function first, and you subtract the derivative of this function, which we actually apply this rule over here, okay? So we actually apply uh, this rule here. So let me circle that for everyone. Okay. Okay, so let's get back to our review. <coughs> okay. So I will write dy over dx. Derivative of this should be 4 times 3x squared minus 1 all of it to the 4 minus 1, okay? At the same time, I need to multiply by derivative of what um, inside the brackets here. So derivative of 3x squared should be uh, 6x, okay? Then you subtract the derivative of 5x, which is derivative of 5x, which is equal to 5, okay? So what we do we have now? We just have, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so we should have 24x will be 3x squared minus 1 to the exponent 3 minus 5 as the final result. All right, okay. So let's continue on to the next question. So this question asks us this. Find the slope of the line tangent to the curve at a given point x equal to 1. So this question basically it's just asking us to do this. All right, so I will write this for everyone. So in other words, so IE, in other words, this question asks me to determine Y prime at one, okay? Or you can write it as uh, DY over DX, evaluate as the X equal to one, okay? So this is the notation that we have to understand, all right? Okay, so with this short notation here, the translation to that, find the slope of the line tangent to the curve at given point x equal to 1. So it means that we have to find derivative of this function, and after we find derivative of this function, we have to evaluate that at the given point uh, x equal to 1. Okay. So let's examine our function for a second. So you have 2 divided by q root of x. Then you have 4 times x to the exponent minus 5 and then minus the 9. So this 2 over q root of x, what you need to do is you should convert this into the x raised to certain power. You want to eliminate the denominator in this case. Okay, to simplify the process of differentiation. So I will write dy over dx. Okay, so then I will have um, right here, before I differentiate, I need to convert this first. So y equal to 2 times x to the exponent uh, negative 1 third. Okay, so I will leave the 4 to the x negative 5 and then minus 9. Now, so dy over dx will be 2 times negative 1 third 
and then x raised to the exponent negative one third uh, minus one. So the next step is to take four times negative five and x to the negative five minus the one and derivative of a constant is equal to zero. All right, so let's see what we have. <clears throat> so I will have negative two thirds here and x raised to the exponent negative four third. This one I should have negative 20 x raised to the exponent negative six. So the next step is to evaluate this derivative at the point x equal to one. Okay, so take negative two third, take one raised to the negative four third, take 20 times one raised to the negative six. So now you see that one raised to any exponent is just equal to one, and one raised to the negative six is also equal to one. One raised to the negative four third is equal to one as well. So I should have a negative two third a minus 20. So in this case, I should have negative 62 over 3 as the answer. Okay, so therefore, the slope of this tangent line, okay, at this given point x equal to 1 is equal to negative 62 over 3 at the point x equal to 1. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, by the way, I would like to mention a few things here. So underneath this, there are quite a few exercises for everyone to work on. Okay, so the questions are very much similar to what I have done above, and the solution is posted uh, in Blackboard for everyone. Okay, thank you.